Hello. Hi everybody, happy Wednesday. Carrie and Patch here tonight. We have an awesome cooking demo. So excited you guys could join us. Uh, drop a comment below uh, that you're watching with us or hashtag replay if you're watching um, as a replay. And thank you for all of our amazing hosts this week who invited all of our friends to come watch us. We do this every Wednesday at seven. So if you enjoy what you see tonight, come back next Wednesday. All right, so Patrick's getting started right away. He is making the cheddar and jalapeno cornbread. This is gluten-free. Well, everything from Epicure is gluten-free. It's all in one mix. It's absolutely delicious. So good, they nailed the flavor. So quarter cup butter, three quarters of a cup milk, and he's going to put it in the microwave for one minute to melt it. And he's using our famous Epicure steamer. This one's the round steamer. So what we have planned on our, um, oh, there's the lid right there. On our demo tonight is cheddar jalapeno, one minute, cheddar jalapeno cornbread. And then we're gonna serve that with a sheet pan salad with a new salad dressing, which is an Epicure like healthy riff on the Thousand Island salad dressing. So what we love doing in our house is a lot of nights what we have for supper, if it's grilled steak or chicken, we'll do a little extra. I have it for leftovers the next day to do uh, different meals. And one of our favorites is a sheet pan salad. And it's amazing with three boys, not very often will they go to the fridge and make them a salad, but if I serve salad, they will all eat it. And it's just so healthy um, and delicious. Okay, so while that is microwaving, uh, Patrick and I will get started on the sheet pan salad. Uh, so we've got some greens here if you want to help chop those up. Our local market here, if you guys are near Scotland, Ontario, shout out to Sam's Place. It's a local farmer's market. Our local fresh produce and fruits and they've got all kinds of stuff there. And uh, they have the best produce. Like I look forward to them opening in May every year. Um, the other week we got romaine lettuce from the grocery store and it was okay the next day we bought the romaine the next week from sam's place like look how big and lush and gorgeous the leaves are like their produce is by far the best it is so fresh and delicious so just layer your sheet pan with greens any greens of choice you could do iceberg romaine romaine spring mix you name it okay we're going to skip over to what patrick's doing here with the cornbread so he's melted the butter and three quarters of a cup milk. Now he's going to crack two eggs and we do it all in the Can steamer. Whisk yeah, whisk it up, perfect. Mini whisk, so handy. Um, so we're gonna do it all in the steamer to save less dishes, less washing dishes. It's like so great. What's super multi-purpose about the steamer, we're going to mix in it and we're gonna cook right in it. Now this, um, oh no, not the cheese yet. Two, two eggs, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> two eggs um, you can do this in the oven in a well-oiled eight inch round cake pan you can do it in your steamer in the oven as well 350 degrees for 30 to 5 to 40 minutes but I don't know about you this busy mom does not have 35 to 40 minutes so we do ours right in the microwave the microwave instructions are here as well and it's gonna be nine minutes and then rest for five so a quarter of the time so we mix it all in one pot we cook it all in one pot Whisk her up. Now we're gonna add the mix. So I've shared this tip all the time, but for those that are new to this, especially our Epicure consultants, I always cut my pouches from the bottom along the black line. Okay, once that's, and then you can flip this over and it'll stand up when you get that perfect foodie picture. Okay, you ready for it? Keep whisking so you don't see any of that, that egg. So it says whisk well until frothy or foamy. So I think we need to whisk a bit more until it's super foamy. So I'll let you do that, then we'll add the mix. I'm gonna keep going on the greens here. Okay. All right, so this is our quarter sheet pan that I'm doing here. So if you're serving, you might want to do a small side salad or maybe you're serving it for one or two, one to three people, or you can do a two sheet pan. So our quarter sheet pans come in a set of two, which is so nice. So we're just going to do one up here right now. Okay. All right. Perfect. So Patrick's going to add the mixing. You just dump it right in 
And then you're gonna add a half a cup of grated cheddar. We did uh, marble, because that's what we had in the fridge. So once that's all whisked up, you can add the cheese hun and put it in the microwave for nine minutes. Okay, so we've got our greens. Now you get to decorate with whatever you want. So I'm gonna grab some peppers. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys this. I'm gonna move my camera. I'm gonna show you the roll up rack here from Epicare. Okay. You guys see this? Isn't this awesome? So this is the roll-up rack. It's metal rods covered in silicone. It goes right over your kitchen sink for washing fruits and veggies or drying dishes. Absolutely love it. And then you can move it from here onto the countertop and use it as like a hot pad to put like your hot sheet pans or wok or frying pans on, or use it as a cooling rack for cooling like cookies and muffins when you're baking. Absolutely love this roll-up rack. It is, it's actually that one product that I got from Epicure that when it came out, I was like, oh, I really don't think I need that. And uh, now I have two of them. <laughs> it's that product you don't think you need till you get it and then you're gonna buy another one because they're so handy. Okay, so actually let's see if it's lid on or lid off. Yep, lid on, nine minutes. We're gonna do pepper, again, from Sam's Place. like so so good um when we're buying our peppers at the grocery store through the year like i can so tell the difference and then of course as soon as sam's place opens i'm on it so delicious so fresh so if you guys have a are lucky enough to have a local market near you it makes such a difference so we'll add some green or red pepper um, I'm going to do some onions, some fresh onion. I love going in there too and just kind of getting what they have that week and then getting creative with my menu according to what veggies are, you know, in season and what's going on in the store. Okay. So we're going to add a little bit of onion on here. Now Patrick and I are using our Epicure Black Chef Knives. We call it the Black Beauty, comes with a guard. Ceramic is so sharp, guys. It's sharper than steel. However, it's not stronger. So don't be using your ceramic for prying lids open or cutting hard like ice cream cake. You wanna use it for soft veggies and fruit or butterfly meats. Whew, this onion is strong. I can, my eyes are watering already. Looks like I'm crying. <laughs> oh my gosh it's a sweet onion so I know it's gonna taste sweet but it is definitely strong I'm gonna move it over here and wash my hands goodness all right so we also picked up some celery from the market and some of these cute little tomatoes so we'll add some of that on some of these cute little tomatoes these little yellow ones I've uh, actually never seen them really like that at the market so these are neat I'm excited to try them I also find too when you guys are buying the produce at the front at the markets they last so much longer I mean we usually can't get through five days all of our veggies are gone we eat a lot of veggies here however if you don't eat them as fast, I find at the market, they last longer than buying them from the grocery store. Okay, that looks super pretty. Okay, we're also going to, so what kind of meat we're gonna do with this is steak. So the other night, we did grilled steak and I made sure to cut a little bit of extra steak. So we seasoned our steak with Epicure's famous Montreal Steak Spice. It has a fraction of the sodium of your store brand steak spices comes in a beautiful glass shaker with the shaker top on it. It's like that. High quality, absolutely robust flavors. So that's how we seasoned our steak. And then a really great tip to reheat meats for a salad or just to reheat them in general, use your Epicure steamers, whether it's the rectangular, the multi-purpose, or the round one. When you use this to reheat, it like locks in all the juices and keeps it super juicy. Where sometimes if you just put that meat on a plate in the microwave, it dries it out. 
So we just do it up in our steamer and it keeps that steak super juicy and delicious. Okay, so I'm going to grab this steak here. Oh my gosh, like look at all the juices that are still, if you guys can see this, that are still in the steamer here from microwaving it. Oh, I don't know if you can see it without me tipping it. <laughs> without me tipping it over, see that? All those juices. So it's gonna lock, keep it super juicy, delicious steak. All right. Do you wanna do this one? Okay, we'll switch spots. If you wanna just cut it into really thin strips. Let me put that off. Sure. Okay, put that pepper to the side here. Okay, while he's doing that, I'm gonna actually do up some avocado. Yes, got this from the market too. And that is a huge avocado. <laughs> so nice. So just slice it in half, twist your avocado, just like that. Then you can grab your pit. I just lightly put my knife into that, very lightly. Give it a little twist and your pit will come out super simple like that. Okay. Now from here, I'm just going to do thin slices using my knife. Again, be really careful with these knives. They're very sharp. Um, I wasn't so careful when I first started using one and I went actually right through the avocado. Um, so you just wanna be very gentle because it's very sharp. They say less accidents happen when you're using a sharp knife because when you're using dull knives, a lot of times you're pushing um, too hard on it and it slips. Okay, so I just did that, just did little strips. Now if I squeeze my avocado, usually those strips will come out nice. It's not this time. <laughs> I think I just need to pull it out this way. There we go, beautiful. Avocados are so nice to add to salads. They add that healthy fat. And we're kind of doing like, I don't know, like a steak, I don't even know what theme you would call this because I don't know if we'd call it Mexican because we're using a thousand island dressing, but steak and avocado, oh my gosh, phenomenal. And that's the thing about salads, right? Like you can just dress it however you want, dress to impress. And the more colors you can add, the more likely the kids are gonna gobble it up. Oh, Pasha, so good. Okay, I'm just gonna slide this cutting board over here. Oh, this is looking awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna get started actually on the salad dressing. So this is our take on, I'm gonna shout out to an Epicure consultant, I'm not sure who it was, but the beauty of being a consultant is you're part of this like awesome foodie community that everyone's always sharing ideas. And one of our fellow consultants shared this recipe uh, so shout out to whoever it was. Um, this is an Epicure take on Thousand Island dressing featuring the Epicure Big Burger seasoning. Okay, so the recipe is half a cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of ketchup, one, two, I'm using our four in one spice spoon from Epicure, tablespoon, teaspoon, half teaspoon, quarter teaspoon, all in one spoon, built to fit in every Epicure jar. Um, we're going to do two teaspoons of relish, so I'm just gonna flip the spoon over. One, two. Okay, one tablespoon of white vinegar, um, and I have that pre-measured out here, so white vinegar. Two teaspoons of, oh, that looks so good. Do you wanna just like lay the steak like that? Probably not the whole thing, there's a lot there. So two teaspoons of white sugar and one tablespoon of Epicure Big Burger Seasoning. Guys, everyone should have this in their pantry for the summer. It's a healthy take on Big Mac sauce. If you're into those golden arches, everybody has had a Big Mac, I hope. And uh, we make a version called Big Burger Sauce and is so, so good. What do you think of it, Patch? Good. Good. Last week we made, so last week or the week before? The week before we made big burger pizza. So if you didn't see that, go to our videos and check that out. Um, okay, looks like we got everything in here. So I'm just gonna mix this up. Yum. 
Oh, this looks good already. And it looks like Thousand Island dressing. I don't know, have you ever had Thousand Island dressing? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I've never purchased it. Uh, this might be something you fall in love with. Looks like it, eh, guys? So good. So you could just leave it like that, or I'm going to put mine into one of our Epicure salad dressing cruets so that we have it. So this is our cruets, got all the measurements along the side. That looks so good, Patrick. And our silicone funnel. Fabulous. <laughs> looks so good. Okay, so that's gonna be hot, Patrick. I'm just gonna get him the cooling rack. So these are the cooling racks that come in a set of two. And he's gonna set it right on there. Now, helpful little tip, guys. These cooling racks fit perfectly on your quarter sheet pan, just like that. So if you wanted to do something like chicken fingers and put them on here. Are you gonna pop it out? No, it's supposed to sit for nine minutes. Remember the one time we popped something out too early? <laughs> the brownies. Do you remember that cooking demo? Yeah. We were like, oh, shuck. Well, we don't need to let it sit like the instructions say. We popped it out and the middle wasn't cooked. <laughs> so it says sit for five minutes. I don't know. Do you want to set the timer for five minutes so that we know? Or we'll just guess? Okay. So there's your uh, cooling rack. You can do french fries, chicken fingers, anything. Um, you get a set of two and a set of two quarter sheet pans. So they work perfect, or two of these will fit perfectly on the large sheet pan if you own that from Epicure. Okay, we're gonna put this right into our Epicure salad dressing cruet so that we can keep it in the fridge. Um, everybody always asks, how long do the dressings last? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, my recommendation is whatever the expiry is of the ingredients that you're using. So whatever the expiry is on the mayonnaise, the relish, um, just kind of go like that. Silicone funnel, great purchase again from Epicure because it like you can squeeze it and get like every last morsel of that dressing or sometimes I'll put maple syrup from a big container to a small container. Just gonna wash my hands while Patrick's doing that. I'm gonna show you guys the cornbread so far. Look at that, isn't that so cool? The other um, day or the other week, I did them in the Epicure silicone muffin pan and popped them out in their perfect little muffins. Awesome, there we go. Thousand Island salad dressing from Epicure. Need eh? And that's using the Epicure big burger sauce. Okay, I think we're coming to a close here. We're gonna add our dressing to the top of our our salad. Before we do, I did want to show you guys these as well. These are the silicone mats, quarter sheet pan mats. They come in a set of two, and of course, they fit perfectly on your quarter sheet pan. Oops, just like that. So I've even done recipes where I put the quarter sheet pan down, and then I will put the cooling rack even on top so that any of the drippings go through onto the sheet pan. If you want to keep your sheet pans looking nice and shiny like this, always use a silicone mat. It's like reusable parchment paper you can use over and over and over again, especially if you want to use these beautiful sheet pans for serving sheet pan salads. Because I've had customers go, oh, that looks so good, but my sheet pans look terrible. If you want to keep them looking just like this, sheet pan, always. And then you're not going to be scrubbing and, um, you know, causing those sheet pans to, to turn a color. All right, so we're gonna add the dressing right on top. This looks so fabulous. Do, 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 do. It's quiet. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, we have an exclusive uh, flavor this month, not available in the catalog for June only. Um, and it is our delicious sesame crunch topper, exclusive item, while supplies last. Uh, the ingredients in here are sesame seeds, green and red bell peppers, carrots, and onions. And it makes, it comes with a shaker, glass jar, makes a beautiful topper for all of those lovely salads you're gonna make this summer. 
It's really great on corn on the cob, great on like an Asian coleslaw. Yum, yum, yum. There we go, steak salad. And I think we should flip this out and show them. Let me grab a cutting mat. Here, let's use this one here. All right. <laughs> Perfection! <laughs> that looks so good. So then we can take um, one of our knives. I think they're both, both of our silicone ones are dirty. Is there one in there? Oh, use that perforated one. It would be perfect. Yeah, we don't sell that one anymore, but it sure is a beauty. It's a black perforated oh, knife. Nice. So I hope it comes back. So let's do it like um like a pie. A pie? Yeah, so right through the middle. There we go. See, cooking kids learn the refractions. <laughs> Patrick's past that. Oh, so good. So cheddar and jalapeno cornbread. Now a lot of co our customers have asked, is it spicy? You know what? It's got a little bit of heat but just the right amount, along with that sweetness of the cornbread, it's perfect. It is so good. Our kids absolutely love it. Grab a plate here. It's got the cheese, is it hot? Toasty, toasty. Oh, look at that, bud. You wanna show the camera up close? Mm-mm. <laughs> oh, he's gotta make it perfect for you guys. Just this little, like, yeah, just that little bit of, like, I don't even know, skin. <laughs> it's not skin, but anyhow, there we go. Show them that. So we've got cornbread served with a delicious steak salad. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> All right, so thank you again, everybody, for joining. Please comment below where you're watching from. Patrick and I love going through after and seeing how far our videos reach and how many people we can inspire with good food. Huge shout out to all of my amazing hosts this week who, uh, again, are trusting me to come into their friend and family circle, share our passion for good food with all of you. Um, if you're interested in any of these products, uh, visit carriebarfoot.epicure.com or just carriebarfoot.com. Or if you have another consultant, please reach out to them. Patrick slowly disappearing from our video. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. You are amazing. We appreciate all your help. Um, and the other way to work with us is to do your own virtual cook-up. So if you enjoy this and you have friends that you think would, reach out to me and I would love to book a virtual cook-up with you and your friends on Facebook. And in June, we have double host credits. That's right. That means when you share Epicure with your friends and do a virtual party with me, you're gonna get double host credits in June. So message me for my next set of dates in June. And last but not least, if you guys are cooking, if you're using Epicare, why not share it and make an awesome stream of income? Reach out to me about how you can cook with Epicure and make a stream of income, whether it's a plan B or a plan C, or if it's just to never pay for Epicure full price again, or maybe you're saving for something special for your family, or maybe you need a whole new career altogether. We have a possibility for all of you. So reach out if you'd like any info on that. Thanks again for joining me, and I hope you guys will try this recipe out and let me know what you think. Have a great night, everyone.